Hey Bears, Eric here, and in today's video, we are talking about the game of the moment, and that is Stellar Blade, the game that is destroying woke. Two butt cheeks at a time, <laughs> two tatas at a time. It is destroying woke by having a very attractive woman as the lead character. So it's coming at us like progressive people, left, right, and center. Or at least that's what they would have you think as of two months ago. I think it was around two months ago when all this kind of started with the whole Sweet Baby Inc., uh, DEI, you know, diversity and gaming stuff and Black Girl Gamers and on Steam and all of that. So all of that sort of spurred this sort of pseudo Gamergate 2.0, which really hasn't taken off totally. Uh, but they keep trying. You have to give them credit. However, uh, some things are not looking as good as they could be. Oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? Let's get sexy! Yeah. Because it seems that Sony and the developers are censoring the game. And we're going to take a look at a portion of a Yellow Flash video. I'm sorry, I'm apologizing right now that we have to sit through this. We talk about the hard R portion of the game that made some changes. And then we're going to take a look at something on Twitter about some changes made to costumes in the game. But before we get into this... If you go on to enjoy this video and you want to help make changes to YouTube's really messed up algorithm, you can join the revolution by subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment down below. With that being said, let's listen to the stuff from Yellow Flash uh, and talk about it a bit. Uh, Stellar Blade, it was at a bait and switch. So yesterday, you might have noticed that hard R was trending. <laughs> now this has nothing to do with the nasty word. This is literally what was in Stellar Blade, actually. Well, it does have to do with that because as much as you guys want to pretend like race isn't a thing, that racism isn't a thing, it actually is. And whenever you talk about something like this and something like this happens, it just proves that racism still exists out there. Now, you may see it a different way. You may have a different take on it, but ultimately to act as if this isn't a product of racism is just being ignorant, honestly. So in case you didn't know, the game debuted with this and all of these game journalists went after it. So here's the story. Original tweet. We got Lyle here at L-Y-D-E-1-5. Did a great job capturing all of this. Original tweet, 3 p.m. So Stellar Blade embargo is up so I can finally show you the hard R shop graffiti LMAO. Wonder how long it'll take to get this patched out. So, so the person that, that tweeted that acknowledges that it looks really bad. It looks bad specifically for people in the United States where that word, the N word is the word they're talking about, where that word is very prevalent when it comes to uh, racial tensions. Um, in the United States, this person knew that. They knew it from looking at it. All you guys know it. I don't know why you're pretending like you don't, why you don't understand. This is what was there. So apparently, and this just shows you how they were calling over everything in this game, looking for shit to get mad about. Because all these game journalists hate this game. Hate this game. Not all the game journalists hate the game. This is the story you guys are trying to paint. Yes, there are some that are going really, really, really hardcore against Stellar Blade for maybe personal reasons. But I've seen a lot of extremely positive scores on this game. And I would actually love to maybe go into this game and like it. But you guys are making it extremely hard because you're acting like it's some cultural thing when it's just a, a video game. Like, I, I I want to be able to go into it, but you guys are making it difficult for people like myself who do not have a problem with this character model. You're making it difficult for us to even enjoy it because everything has to be a fight. It's always got to be a fight with you guys. Game, but they'll praise Hades, too. And, you know, it's unfortunate for H Hades, too. The first one is great. And they're just pulling that game into this culture war bullshit. And it honestly makes me not. You guys pulled this game into the culture war stuff. Stellar Blade was pulled into the culture war because of Sweet Baby Inc. I can't tell you how many videos I've seen where it's like, oh, you know, support Stellar Blade. It's not a DEI, uh, you know, Sweet Baby Inc. game. That was you guys. How <laughs> do you want to play that game? But that's not this video. We're going to focus on this here. So hard R, right? We all know what that means. It's a mm -hmm. reference to uh, an N word. Mm -hmm. And there's two versions of that. Uh, there's one that uh, is a little bit more offensive than the other. And okay. apparently this is them doing that. Now, one that's more offensive than the other? 
Oh, I guess he means like the reference to the hard R. Okay. Yeah. The fact that you won't even say the word, the fact that you won't even say it means you understand how bad it is. That's the part that gets me about this. If you do not believe that the word is bad, if you do not believe that the word is racist and that it's going to be offensive to people and you don't want to be on the receiving end of that, of that shit, then you would say it because it's just a word. But the fact that you guys won't say it means that you are confirming that it is still a sensitive word that is not used in language when people are communicating with each other in a civil way. So it serves no purpose for this to be in the game uh, if it is going to cause that kind of a problem. You're, you are confirming that because you won't even say it, Yellow Flash. In my opinion, this game is made by people in South Korea. Right. Right. I think it was probably a coincidence. There was- I think it was, but you know what would have fixed this? You know, you know how this could have been corrected so that this wouldn't have happened before it came out? A consultation firm that could come in and tell them, hey, in the United States, the the term hard and then R next to it could be seen as insensitive because of the connotations of that that phrase. They could have told them that. That is what a consultation firm could have done for them prior to the game getting released. You know, these consultation firms that you guys don't seem to like, that is their purpose to come in and fix things like this. So they are not some sort of a logistical mess for the studios when they put games out. I I think it was probably a coincidence that there was nothing bad there. However, (laughs) they patched this out and they replaced it with crime R. I, uh, Never even knew this was a thing, but apparently that is also a, a slur. Uh, is it a slur? I don't know if it's a slur. It is It is a word with a negative connotation to it. All right, so I looked it up very quickly. It seems like on Twitter I'm seeing uh, screenshots of the word crimer, meaning like slang towards an African-American person who commits crimes. I've never heard that before, but I'm not going to say it's not. Uh, if it is listed somewhere as being a, a slang term, used negatively towards a certain community. I'm just going to say, okay, cool. I acknowledge that. Um, I don't say it. So it's not something I have to take out of my vocabulary. I don't use that term. So uh, for me, not a big issue. Um, As far as crimer in general, though, I'm seeing here online that it seems like other uh, definitions exist, or it's like a person who commits multiple crimes over time. Um, So it seems like it does have different meanings depending on where you are. But again, uh, consultation group to come in and tell you that might have stopped that from being a thing because if there is some sort of a issue with like a uh not understanding cultural stuff or things like that that would fix that problem i had never heard of it until yesterday but apparently it is and that's what they replaced it with and it's almost in a way kind of like a middle finger i don't know if that'll get patched out or not maybe we'll see but this what's funny about this is the coordination from these game journalists so Lance McDonald, I don't know what. So it's funny to me that in this instance, it's not about the fault of the developers. This is a weird shift because typically with these guys, you'll see them go all in on the developers, the people making the game and saying they should have known better. How did they do it? This is hilarious that they made this mistake. But they are so devoted to making sure that this game succeeds as being an anti-woke game that they have to cope by start by looking at the journalist who have nothing to do with the, the this game being made. They aren't a developer. They're not a writer. They're not someone working on the art. They're doing none of that. So they have nothing to do with that. Pointing this out doesn't mean that, the, that Sony or the developers had to change it. They decided to censor it. So you should by, be diverting this anger about censorship and wokeness to the people that actually did the censoring, not the journalists because the fuck about the journalist uh anyway we're gonna stop there with the yellow flash stuff we understand what that is let's take a look at the tweet with the costume change here's our good friend grums who is so hard up for like this anti-woke anti-dei stuff like he's found his niche now with this and he's just going all in on it but apparently he's talking about the hard r changes here as well as this change to like a costume where it shows a little bit more skin and a uh, much more of the bust. And then in the changed one, it's like the, the suit comes up higher and has a more modest uh, more modest cut on the waist. 
Um, and it seems like they've changed it. Again, I don't know what the, this change was for. As of the time recording this video, I don't know what the actual reasoning behind the change was. But clearly, clearly the game isn't some anti-woke uh, missile direct impact. It's just not. It's not killing wokeness. We're seeing that these changes made to the game can happen with or without a consultation firm. And you can cope all you want and act like the journalist had something to do with this, considering they were giving the game like sevens, eight, nines, um, which are good scores. But you can say that, you can try and cope and be like, oh, it was the journalist, the journalist. No, Sony decided to do it or the developers decided to do it. They are the ones that make those decisions. And now you have to walk back a lot of stuff you said about the people that developed this game, this company that made this game saying that, oh, they're not going to align with the values of the United States. They're not going to do that. They're going to do whatever they want. But here they're actually making changes because they want the game to be successful. To them, a more general success of the game is more important than some bullshit culture war that you guys want to play and, and fight about online. I'm so tired of arguing with other adults about dumb shit like this. It's so frustrating. I saw this game and I was like, ah, I may check it out. I might not. It's not really my kind of game. But then with all of this, like, oh, the game is anti-woke and, and left people hate beautiful women. And that's why they don't want to play the game. With all that shit going on, it made me not want to play the game. And that's really sad because these developers do not want that culture war to affect the sales of their game. They don't want that. They just want to sell the game to whoever wants to play it. Which is what a lot of these guys say. You should be selling your product to whoever wants to. These the, the developers never came out and been like, you know, we're here to fight against woke. We're an anti-woke game. Uh, boobs and butts. They never said that. That was you guys. That was your corner. You started all this. They didn't. The game was never advertised as that. They never latched on to any of that. That was never part of what they were doing. And now you're upset that they're making changes so that the game will sell to a larger demographic because they don't want to be offensive to people. Shock. Shocking. Absolutely surprising that they want to make the most amount of money they can off of a product they've worked really hard on. 